Hello everybody, um, so today I actually have a plan. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna collect as many endings as I can for this game and then I'm just gonna put this on the back burner. I personally just, I don't find this game as fun as Close Your Eyes. I don't expect myself to get a lot of the endings because a lot of them are really hard to get or really sneaky, but I want to get as much lore as I can and then we're gonna go on what I call the host hunt. <laughs> That's right host, we're coming for you. So essentially I looked on the wiki and I looked up what games the host is in and he's like my favorite character and it introduced me to some games from these characters that I didn't even know about. Um, it ended up that both of the ones that I don't have currently are free, so what I'm gonna do- Also, they don't have achievements. Um, one of them is really old and I think that's why it doesn't have achievements. One is new, and I think maybe the creator understood that it's just very, um, pressuring to have, like, the endings and stuff with achievements and stuff and all that. Or maybe it doesn't have multiple endings, I don't know. Essentially, we're just gonna do our best to find the host in each game and that's the only real endings I'm going to worry about unless I end up really liking the games and being able to get the ending. This time, we're going to get the custodian keys and I'm gonna explore that hall because I have not explored that hall very much at all. Thanks, weirdo. Okay, we're gonna scoop that away from the wall so that that doesn't happen again. Did I stick it in the corner? Okay. I think I understand. Um, ooh, okay. Where would I stand? Um, we actually might need this a bit away. Hand points to 1245, what would that look like? So, where am I gonna have to- I'm gonna have to be- Actually, um, I should be- Hold on. This is now open, let's see. Nothing but a lone hammer in here. Well, I might as well take it. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna get another ending before getting the one that I'm supposed to be in here for, because that is what I'm like. Unlock it, you unlock the door with the janitor's key. You want janitor's key left. Thank you for informing me of this. Hello, moths. How is everybody? Hello! Mold is growing in the wall. Moisture is collected here and the wall looks fragile. The hammer could probably knock this wall out easily enough. Well, I'm gonna break through that wall. Oh, there's another room behind this wall. Uh, guys, there's some detergent, I say, as I'm in a terrified room where something's laughing at me. You keep doing that. I'm gonna... I'm I'm gonna shimmy away. It's probably gonna be me in five seconds. Hello? It lives in the walls, that beautiful and pale smile. I don't know how long it's been living with us in this apartment. All it wants is for us to be happy. It has granted me my wish. We will be peculiar until the day we awaken his glorious beams, emerging out of our hollow and shriveled selves. And it will tear out our sadness and replace it with an eternal bliss. So they must be talking about the, the thing in the well. I'm ready. Take me. I want your embrace. Well, I'm not ready. Whoops. Well, okay, I just wanted to look at this, but... Da -da -da. Strolling down every now and then. What's up, dog? Happy, happy, rub rub, I awaken, beautiful, rub rub, rub. free, happy, come. Oh god, it's like what happened to me in that one ending, but with moths, a broken cage.
Uh, hello? Am I free now? Forever? Or... Mm, am I... Should I... Shall I kill you? Come in... I don't know what that means. I'm taking screenshots as you can see. So maybe I can read it at the ending. I don't know what that was. It was something for sure. Like some of these endings, I don't know. It feels like they definitely forced to have like all the endings of the alphabet. Instead of, you know... Letting endings exist that were important because you missed some of the lore. Oh, that's a cute, that's a cute little picture. You miss some of the lore because you get endings that actually kind of are irrelevant. Because there's some lore here. I mean, there's some characters I haven't even heard about because I haven't gotten those endings. Which is sad because it's like, uh, whole, I feel like a whole part of the game is being kind of barred off to me. You're gonna regret it. That's new. You're gonna regret it. What's this? Oh, all of his turn off the wall. Carpet. Oh, oh no. I don't know about you guys, but I think he's. Uh, what's that? <laughs> what's that? What's going on? What the? The door's been busted open. Go through? Sure. Guys! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I kind of want to look it up because I think this might be for an ending. I don't know how to get the ending exactly. I came to see all these years later, trying to have a change. Little Dick's supposed to have run out of business and now it's crawling with hobos, druggies, and squatters. It's a shame to see it come to this. feels like part of me has been violated. I guess what they say is true ignorance is bliss. Interesting. I don't think that said that before. But I can't quite remember. It's been a while. Hello? Hello? <laughs> How is everything going, buddy? What did I just do? I didn't mean to do that, guys. Okay. At this point onward, interact with Will if you want to go meet that which smiles in darkness. Janner's just gone now. The men's restroom has been boarded up. You know I could probably pull these boards off with the hammer. Give it a try. Let's ply some wood. Dog. Ooh, the boys' office is now open for business. Okay, what's going on? Seems to be broken. This thing's tap is rusted. Nope, no water. Sorry, something empty trash can. Warning, slippery when wet. Do be good, you must do three of the following. And Comfort, but do not disturb a baby carriage. Do not open the fridge. Give a toy back. Do not take someone else's key. Read and respect curses. Treat yourself right and dress up once stripped. Yourself right and dress up once stripped. Clean up someone else's mess with a rag. Then return here and tell them the truth. Well, I'm not doing good. Can I enter? Flush the toilet? Oh no! I'm just gonna keep flushing the toilet because that's all I know to do in life. Don't mind me, um, I'm enjoying this toilet. Hello! No, I've not been good. Yeah, I guess so. Hello? Is there anyone there? What is that? What 
what is what? Who's there? Look, I know I ain't no saint, but come the fuck out. I'm no shitty sinner. Who the hell are you to judge me? Who the fuck even are you? Oh, this is not good. What are you? What? Oh, shit. We died real fast. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I don't know how to do all that stuff he said. And Z. Have we been in 103? There must be something in 103. I'm gonna walk away now. I think something very bad has happened to our janitor, man. 103, I don't think we've been in here. Yes, let's go. What's in here? Excuse me. Uh. Hello? Okay. Thank you. It's an answering machine. There's not a phone that I can see. Fortunately, only lines far seems to have power. One new message. Listen to it. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Edmund. This is your boss, Norman. Okay. Listen. The reports you sent in today didn't quite come out correctly. Ooh. Sorry, buddy. Looks like you're gonna have to do them over again. A bit harsh, but hey. I know you've got nothing better to do. Asshole. You always had that balding head of yours wrapped up more in your studies and work than anything resembling a good time. Shut up. <laughs> I remember when we were kids and we used to rag on you all the time for studying so hard. Always working so hard. But boy, your grades certainly didn't show it. Why are you doing this? Compared to you, even a lazy jackass like me looks like flipping Einstein. <laughs> What an idiot. Oh, good times. But hey, at least you had one saving grace in your life, huh? Knowing me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty great. Giving a poor chump like you a job like this? Yeah. I pat myself on the back every once in a while for that one. Man, you really do owe me, huh? Dude, can you shut up? Well, just remember that I hired your sorry ass as you work on that report tonight. Wanted on my desk by much as mentioned overtime pay. Oh, you can kiss your sorry ass to the curb, you good for nothing son of a. <laughs> oh, I know you won't. Give your mom my regards. Those cookies? Mm. No, let me emphasize that. Mm -hmm. They were absolutely to die for. Can you still click that? Looks like I can't just click that. No good genes passed on, I say. Anyway, tomorrow. This is one big rose. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Mushrooms. Gross, I wonder if they're hallucinogenics. Why, do you want to take them? I'd be down for that. Nothing but trash. Uh, there's like parcel. A uh, metal pile of newspapers not interested. Okay. Turning you east, child. Darn it. Was it this one? Yep, it was. Okay. Uh, lovely chatting with you, yellow thing. But I'm going this way now. Brendan Franklin, 1991 to 2009. You died too young. I regret never coming to your funeral. We only really knew each other due to the being in the same speech program in elementary school. You're always a friendly face, and I wish we had known each other better through middle and high school. Your death shook me more than I would have ever imagined. Chelsea Joy, 1988 to 2000. A pure burst of energy is what I always thought 
when we were young. We played with a group so many dorky games of imagination on the playground in elementary school. And you were always interested in how you could help and make it fun for everybody. Why did you have to die so young? Okay, so everybody died really young. Pretty much. Look at the light post. Dylan Jones, 1989 to 2014. You were always too hard on yourself in school. You were kind, attractive, good at music, and passionate. Never let it get to your head and you didn't push people away. Saw you once after we had graduated. You said hello and were kind to me. We were never close, but I appreciate that. I really did. Are these people she knew or, or is this, it does it say this on the gravestones? Anthony Drevis, 1990 to 2003. You attached to me the moment you met me. I never understood what you saw in me. I wasn't popular nor the most social or fun guy around. Maybe you saw a bit of yourself in me. Regardless, when you moved away to Florida, I missed you. And to this day, I still remember you. Okay, so this is from someone else's perspective. I don't know, though. I don't know who, though. Here lies Dan McHill's 1989 to 2016. That was short but sweet life. Okay, that one's pretty simple. Allison Benford, 1990 to 2014. You were maybe the nicest person I ever dated. I didn't treat you as well as I should have, and I was a big dummy back then. Even when you broke up with me, you called back, crying, telling me you hadn't been far fair to me that we should get back together. Truth was, I never, I was never fair to you, and yet you showed me more kindness than anyone I've ever dated since. Okay. Crossin, 1988 to 2013. You must always have a smile on your face whenever I saw you. You were a lot of fun to be with. I still remember the time I slept over for your birthday. The first time I had ever stayed up all night. I wish we could have stayed friends. Ghastly, who are you? Um, don't know what that means. Frankie Osmond, 1990 to 26, 2006. You were the center of attention in friend circles. Confident, friendly, welcoming, and likable. When you went to another school, the rest of us, we kind of fell apart. You called me a few years later. Being the shy idiot I am, I didn't pick up the phone. Wish we could have rekindled our friendship. Oh, it hurts. So this is like a field of regret, basically, I guess. Kiki, 1984 to who knows. We never knew where you went, but you were always so sweet. Miss you every day. Gabriel Simpson, 1991 to 2017. We had so many childhood memories together. Your mother was a bitch, true sociopath. Hey, that's not a really good use of the word. Drinking guys in bars to take them home, how she abused you. I don't blame you for running away, but I wish you had chosen a better guy to run with who would have stayed with you and your child. I never got a chance to thank you for how we were, how you were my friend and defended me even as we grew up, and you grew up to be a the popular girl. I wish I'd done more for you. Okay. What's this? Is, this. is it your own grave? It's not funny. Who fucking did this? Who fucking wrote her name with this gravestone? Oh, is that your sister? I think we're going to heaven, man. Maybe God sunbeamed us. Oh. I suddenly found myself in a white field, maybe somewhere between a memory and a dream. My sister stood across from me, smiling. Sis? I'm so happy to see you. I'm sorry, I've never been the older sister I should have been. I left you all alone, but know that I love you so much. If you don't mind, Please, let me stay with you, to be the big sister I never was. The sister you deserved. I wish I had never left you behind. Maybe if we had just stood together, we never would have. I guess it's too late now. It was nice seeing you, sis. I do like that there's some, um, I do like that there's some happy endings here instead of the usual, like, oh, it's a horror game, so everything has to be dark and sad and all of that, and it's like, but why, though? But why? But this one, it's like, they, it actually explores the characters. 
you know, like, the happy and the sad parts of her life, and I don't know, I just really like that. I think you don't see it a lot in horrors now horror nowadays, and horror in general, so, you know. And I mean, I think, I, I think that's why I like their game so much, because it's, it's the type of horror I like, and it's the type of horror that's not usually put out there, so, you know. NG, yes. I am getting these. Um, but I'm also gonna jump in. Let me in. Oh, sorry. Let me in! A crazed detergent. It's a YouTuber, okay. I'm jumping, yeah, I'm really jumping into the pit. Excuse you for questioning my sanity. Shit. Oh, oh god. Ow. I got gooped. Yep. Please. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. No, 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 no. Oh. No, I didn't die. You, you heard nothing. I need a map. I need a, I need a detergent map. Shit. Already? Asshole. Asshole. Get away. Get away. How did you see me? Oh my fucking god! Ah, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm so... Uh. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Man. What the fuck was that? Um. How do I? How do I get this? I. Oh, no thanks. Bye. I don't know what to do. I think this is the last ending I'm going to attempt to try to get because I don't. <clears throat> it's very unclear where like loves are and everything. Mm. Actually, I, I might open the. The last thing I want to try to do is to open that cursed room. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be it for me. Um, I'm just sad because I can sense that there are, um, there's a lot more story in some of these endings that I have not found. But it's just like so much, there's so much with no guidance whatsoever and personally that has just like never been my thing, you know? Um, now it's like you gotta give me something to work with. <gasps> uh, does that have adrenaline? It's empty. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay. Run, run, run. Let's not go that way. Let's calmly go this way. dark over here. Okay. I do think we have to go down that way, sadly. Because that's where this thing is. It might be safe now, but I'm not sure. Nope. Okay. Why are you down there? 
Why are you camping down there, dog? Well, you could be up here with me. I wonder if I can go around it. Oh, fuck. Hmm. That's the thing with the sound, too. It's like, I can't tell where this thing actually is. Um. Oh, I hear it. Okay, um, I think we're okay. Oh fuck, where is it? Can you move away from there? I think I need to go that way. Which is probably why you're there, so... <clears throat> oh fuck, um... I don't know where you are. I don't know where or why you are. Fucking shit, mate. I'm gonna hide here. Jesus Christ. That thing is inhumanly fast, which makes this really unfair. Oh god, I can't run. Yep, it's got me. I give up. I concede. Let's go into the cursed room now. Goodbye. Ah, let me out, let me out, let me out. That actually scared me. <laughs> this is gonna scare me more. Let's read it. Beware, it never lets curse trouble fall upon anyone who takes stuff in this room. A lot, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna end. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. I don't know what that did. <laughs> oh. Hi. Skip opening? Is it any different? <laughs> oh, that is the worst. They're gonna be everywhere, guys. Oh no. Hi. Would you like to play a game? Would you like to play a game? Okay. We have a saw in our game now, essentially. I think you can get the ending with these guys. Um, I don't know how to do that, though. Yeah, and they're there. How did you get them to be there? Hmm? <gasps> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep walking. Uh, I'm just gonna keep strolling. Nothing happened, okay, guys? Everything is fine. Yeah, they're not there. I don't know how, I don't know how to make them show up there. So yeah, I think that concludes my time with this game. I... Uh, I don't really like the new direction at all. Um, it was one thing when I was doing it originally, but now that they made the other guy so difficult to get past and just bleed you of your stuff because of it, um, and then they make him worse and then you have nothing, I, I, I think this was not very well planned out for future playthroughs, but all that being said, you know, if you like the challenge, um, if you're really into collecting stuff, uh, you might like this game, but for now, I'm going to move on to other games. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this, and goodbye!